Teď máme připravenou jednu case study, jak už to Petra, Petra zmiňovala dopředu. Ta case study se týká jednoho konkrétního využití, využití mobilů v mobilních kampaních. A já bych rád představil Marii z AVG, která tu case study bude prezentovat. Maria sice rozumí česky, ale mluvit bude anglicky, takže proto bych ji rád představil anglicky. So I would, I would like to introduce Maria Nikolova from AVG. The interesting thing about Maria is that she's actually a, an ex-Googler. She worked in Google in Poland like three, four years ago. And now she's been uh, more than two years uh, working in AVG in, here in Prague. And yeah, she will tell you uh, about the AVG campaign more. Thank you, Jan. Um, so hi, everyone. Um, this is my first time to speak officially on a public conference in Czech. I wish I could do it in Czech, but uh, that's my goal for next time. So this, um, this time I'll be happy to, to do it in English. Um, so today I'll walk you through a branding, mobile branding campaign that we at AVG ran in the spring of 2012. Um, and before we jump in the campaign details, I'd like to um, introduce you briefly to what uh, we do at AVG. Um, so AVG Technologies was founded in the early 1990s, as you can see from this image. Um, and I have a question for you. Do you know what's the birthplace of AVG? Anyone? Brno, yes, that's correct. Yeah, so AVG was actually started in Brno. Uh, it's a Czech company. Um, and when we started in, in our early days, we basically gained popularity by offering free antivirus um, or free virus protection to all the users. Um, and today we are proud to say that we have more than 150 million users worldwide, which is uh, basically the combined population of both France and Germany. Um, we worked hard to develop our product portfolio. And um, today, again, Probably I'm doing something wrong. It's, oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, so um, today we have uh, products that are not only aiming at protecting uh, PCs, but also um, they provide protection for mobile devices. And we also have uh, software that's uh, boosting uh, the performance of your other devices. Um, one fact that talks a lot about the strength of our products that we provide today um, is the fact that we are basically the most downloaded security app in the Google Play Store worldwide. Um, our headquarters today are based um, in Prague, and this is where our uh, in-house online adver advertising team sits. Um, this is where we're managing all our campaigns from. Um, so this comes as a nice segue to, to the topic that we have for today, which is the mobile branding campaign um, that we ran last year. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it right now, finally. Um, so how did we come up with the idea of, um, of running a mobile branding campaign? Um, so as you probably might guess, um, most of the users, when they buy a PC, one of the first things they do um, is they try to find antivirus protection for the PC because we know that there are many threats out there that can affect our PCs. But this is not what mobile users think of. Um, users who get mobile devices um, are not aware that there are threats um, for, for their mobile phones, so this is, this is not one of the first things we do. So what we want to do in AVG is educate users that they need um, mobile uh, security protection as well, uh, and this is how we came up with the idea of, of running a branding campaign. Um, while preparing the campaign, we had two main um, objectives in mind. Uh, the first one was to uh, increase the brand awareness of AVG, and the second one was to create um, um, purchase intent uh, for our products. We also had a secondary goal, which was, uh, which was not as important, and that one was to drive app downloads. Uh, but we, we believe that it's good to combine both branding and DR campaigns in one. Um, so this was something we wanted to do. Um, as a target market, we chose the US, knowing that mobile um, penetration there is pretty big, and that's, where, that's the market where most of the things are happening, and everything starts. Um, and the campaign duration was set to three weeks. Um, as campaign creatives, we chose the ones um, that we have uh, on the screen. So basically, we had banners. Um, we, had, we created our own banners, which were plain white um, uh, banners, and on all of them, we have the AVG logo and the AVG brands. 
Uh, shortly before the campaign launched, uh, Google introduced the new formats, um, the new Google Text Banner format, which looks, um, which looks like this. Uh, what's special about it is that if your app has a rating of 3.5 and above, uh, Google basically displays the stars and the reviews on the banners. And this is a great way to um, help users who see the banners to, to make an informed decision because it talks about the quality, um, the quality of the app. Uh, given that our app is really downloaded, as we mentioned, and we had, uh, we had great uh, user reviews, more than, uh, than 4.5 star rating, we did get this, uh, these stars in the banners, and it helped overall banner performance. Um, so I have a question for you. When you look at the banners this way, which ones do you think perform better? Which ones? The text banners? Yep, you got it right. So both, both showed pretty good and solid results. However, Google's text banners perform really well. So um, those are the ones that we, we chose basically to finish the campaign with. Um, for, tar uh, for campaign targeting, we decided to, uh, to target all the app categories that were available in the Google Play Store. Uh, what's important to note is that when we launched this campaign, um, basically campaign management was not yet done through the AdWords interface, but it was the old AdMob interface. I'm not sure how many of you have run mobile campaigns on the AdMob interface. Um, has, yeah, okay, I see one hand over there. So. That interface was seriously a pain, um, setting up campaigns there, especially if you wanted to have better segmented campaigns, could be just, could take easily a week or so just to, to, to do everything. And now after Google Transfer to AdWords, it's so much easier. Now it just takes a couple of hours. So we were brave enough uh, with the help of our amazing Google team here, we, we managed to do the campaign segmentation we wanted and we targeted all the app categories that were available. Um, at the same time, Google uh, launched this category called new smartphone users, which is pretty relevant for us, um, given that, um, as I mentioned earlier, we are targeting users who are getting their, device, um, their devices uh, early in the, in the whole process. Um, so that's why we wanted to test this category and see how it performs for us. Um, once the user clicked on the ad, they were taken to AVG's um, Google Play Store from where they could download, um, from where they could download the app. Uh, to measure the results, we cooperated with a U.S. agency called Insight uh, Search, or Insight Express, sorry. <laughs> and um, basically what they do or how they measure branding uh, results is that they take two groups of users. One group consists of users who are exposed to the banners, and the second group consists of users who have never seen the banners before. And then um, they give them a survey or a questionnaire with a certain type of questions about aided awareness, unaided awareness, and so on. And based on the results they get, um, basically we, we can assess how the campaign performs. And the results are um, as follows. So we had uh, more than 29% increase in brand awareness, uh, which we, we thought was really great. Um, and over 17% increase in average purchase, um, in, in basically average purchase consideration. And for internet savvy users, who spent more than five um, hours per day on internet, um, actually the purchase consideration increased by 26%. Um, so we're really satisfied with the, with the results, given that it's not easy to measure um, the success of a branding campaign. So this was, this was something that um, encouraged us to continue, uh, to continue running uh, mobile campaigns. Um, on top of those results, we came up with a number of interesting findings um, that I'd like to share. Uh, the first one is, again, the new smartphone users. Um, as we mentioned, this, one, this segment was really important for us to test, um, and it was something that Google also introduced um, right, right when we started with the campaign. Uh, what we noticed was that given that this traffic was more valuable to us, uh, to us uh, the CPCs were higher. However, at the same time, the cost per install was significantly lower. So uh, when optimizing the campaign, this is one of the things we took into consideration. Uh, the second thing that was actually pretty surprising to us was the um, Wi-Fi versus uh, carrier traffic. Um, so we had the campaign segmented in this way as well, um, and um, 
basically what, what struck us as interesting is that um, the carrier traffic actually um, had better uh, performance results. So the CPCs were lower and the CTR and conversion rates were much, were much higher. Um, one of the ideas why this, uh, why, why this is the case is that um, users who are on, on basically on carrier, they have stable package plans and the intent is different. So if you want to achieve certain results, I'd rather, I'd, I'd suggest um, go or target carrier traffic separately than Wi-Fi traffic because Wi-Fi traffic sometimes, sometimes is unstable. We know that the connection can fail more easily. Um, and finally, weekdays versus weekends. Um, Another finding which was not as surprising is that during the uh, weekends, the traffic, um, the amount of traffic we, we get is much, uh, much higher. However, it's also more expensive. So if you want to get more users and they're willing to pay more uh, for, for those users, then, then try to um, shift the budgets more towards um, the weekends. Um, finally, the next steps. Um, after the success of our initial mobile branding campaign, we decided to continue running mobile campaigns. Um, the mobile campaigns that we're focusing on right now are more direct response campaigns. We're trying to acquire new users and this, this has been really helpful for us. Um, especially given that AVG has considerably expanded our app portfolio and these are some of the apps that you can see or that we offer currently. Um, and all of the campaigns that that we are doing right now have um, have had some really significant results. Um, that's all for me. In the end, I'd really like to thank the Google team who were really supportive all the all the time throughout the whole process. Um, it basically it was we were kind of like pioneers in what what was going on here, and they really helped us with many learnings and the hard work. So. Uh, that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to approach me um, later during the break or you can shoot me an email. So, thank you.